I'm going to have to abandon camp. Holy. Literally, as we were talking. Right. Jesus Christ, literally. And the pole got bent. Here comes the doomsday dance. It's all your <laughs> fault, Annie. It's a local squatter. <laughs> oh, look. It's an awesome Oh, Annie. Think about what went on under there when I showed you my long pole. Do you think your husband would mind? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Be gone, evil spirit. Bye -bye. Take the wind yeah, with you. Again soon. Good afternoon, everyone. We're still uploading videos from the last camp. And we're on our next camp. I'm kind of trying to spread them out every two, three, four days. What I was doing was getting home, editing them, and then pumping, the, <laughs> pumping out my content one video a day to get them all to get them all edited um and uploaded before the next camp and then there'd be like a week of nothing so i think probably better to spread them out every like i said three three days four days i think i'm gonna have too much content for four days certainly maybe for the moment i can't really show you very much outside we did a uh, a time lapse pitching which was kind of interesting we've got the inner because it's quite windy uh, and quite breezy so we've got the inner pitched very low i would say um, on this occasion i've got my pacer pole out and i've got it on the number one mark here so maybe when i'm at home i measure that because everybody asks how long my pole is and to be honest with most of these mountain old designs mids and trail stars and things you don't really have a fixed height it kind of depends on what the weather's like and obviously if the weather's good then you can you can pitch pitch a little bit higher but it's particularly unpleasant today we're down by a tarn we're literally par um, packed we're literally pitched right next to a path over there but the weather's so poor and unpleasant i i don't think many people are going to be coming you know up here it's pitched so low the the inner when it gets very breezy does come in on my head but you kind of just got to accept and put up with it really there's no point in running home to mummy and crying that the inner's brushing <laughs> brushing your head you know packing it all in you know, you've got a storm-worthy shelter. The whole point of seal nylon or a flexible shelter is that it will bow in the wind and keep you safe. I'm not exactly sure of the wind speed in the van, you know, by the time here. It's not too much. You do get a bit of a gust coming through occasionally. I was thinking of going up on the top but it's gusting up to about 45 
miles per hour, you know, up on the tops. And I think that's, I think that's a little bit too windy if it can be avoided. I've checked the forecast for tomorrow and it's kind of gusting into the mid to high 20s. So it's a lot lower tomorrow. So I think we will, we will exert ourselves tomorrow and pack up at some point. We'll, we'll load up with water here and then we'll head up to one of the tops over there and then we'll kind of go from there tomorrow. We can kind of figure out what we do, you know, tomorrow. And the weather is marginally drier around lunchtime but I think it's still coming in unpleasant you know in the afternoon so whilst I'm not gonna rush off in the morning because I don't do rushing the weather really is quite unpleasant today luckily we got into camp early mid early afternoon and it was dry we are pitched set up everything and it's just been miserable you know since then we've had one tea we'll have another tea and we'll really just kind of see how how things you know pan out I think really, ooh, that, <laughs> when it gets very, very windy, then it does, <laughs> it does blow in on you quite a bit. Your head is almost at, <laughs> yeah, you've got to, kind of got to get your head down, ooh, that's a, that's a bit of a breeze coming through there. You kind of got to just duck down a little bit or get your head in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> When, when your head's down sleeping, then I think we'll be okay, hopefully. But I really, I didn't fancy being up on the tops in, in 40 plus mile an hour winds. I just don't see the point of that at all. I think some people like to chase storms and things like that just to get views and I don't really think that's unnecessary. We'll maybe do a video on that actually this trip. That might be, that could be, that could be uh, potentially, you know, interesting. Oh, Mr. Hobbs, the irony of what is about to happen. Anyway, we're going to settle on down here. I think I've had one thing and I have one more tea. I'm not gonna waffle anymore. We're in camp, we're safe, we're getting a bit blown around a bit but <laughs> oh I tell you people they, people they say they love bad weather and storms and oh I must admit I'm looking forward to the summer <laughs> to the sum to my summer camps I then spent the next hour or more fighting vicious gusts and trying to get the trail star safe I didn't record any of that, unfortunately. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to abandon camp. Genuinely didn't think I would ever say that. And I didn't think I'd ever say it in the Trail Star. I'm not going to blame the Trail Star, obviously. Uh, maybe I'm in one of these towns and let's face it, they do seem rather problematic of, you know, seeing tents. I thought it would be okay. Uh, but unfortunately, even when I've got it pitched up quite high, well, you know, at a reasonable height, first of all, even I was struggling there. And that's at a fairly reasonable height. That's how strong the wind is. I've packed the, the wind thing, so I can't say for sure 
how how fast the gusts are they're not ridiculous they're not what some people claim of you know 50 miles an hour but i do think they are well they they've blown me a couple of times when i've been standing up outside and i i, I would guess 35 to 40. I even bent my pole with a crooked, a crooked end. Uh, you know, it's, for some reason I've tested this particular shelter beyond its, its limits. The top has split there, as you can see. I was half tempted to to, you know, to try and stay out and I don't think that would leak because it's... Oh, fuck me! Fuck yeah. That is really strong. That nearly blew me over. <laughs> I'm not making that up either. That is a lot gustier than I was expecting. This would already happened and is a portent of what's to follow. You know, let's go through what is probably human error. Maybe I needed to move the door. Although whether it would have stood up, you know, anyway, I don't know. It should. I've pitched this way because earlier on the winds were gusting up here and they were kind of coming around that way so I deliberately pitched with the door this way so that the winds would catch the sides or the back and not the front but it's uh you know now it's like it's died right down and then those gusts they suddenly come and they're very strong and very very powerful and and i'm guessing they've just battered battered it into literally into submission a couple of things happened when i was inside this line lock for some reason loosened you can see i've knotted it for extra security you know i've not had a line lock loosen that loosened twice and i had to get out and tighten it up this line lock here completely it just broke off it just snapped off so to be honest if the weather had if the forecast for this evening was to die down I probably would have probably would have stayed and just put up with it because I think it would get through you know normal reasonable weather I don't think the waterproofness is affected because it's sealed on the top so I don't think that's affected but the the unfortunate thing is this this weather is going to get stronger um you know tonight and i think i've just i mean the last person who wants to <laughs> to abandon camp and and head home i can promise you is is me but i really do think we've uh we've probably met our match this time i think what's happened is the wind's coming around here through there and then it's just battering with the side and that's a good tight that's a good tight pitch on this trail star too and it's just it's flattening it it's i'm quite surprised i must admit that is surprising i've been in some pretty strong winds in these and normally normally they're fine i put that side bungee on you know 
just in case but it realistically did nothing to help there's the side points are not really there i think they're ornamental I mean, luckily we're not a million miles from the car and it's it's light for another hour and a half it will be back before dark i'll have a nose on the way down and just see whether i see anywhere um, on the way down but i think <laughs> i think we've probably um had our had our luck with with this anyway if i don't do anything else then Sometimes that just happens with uh, camp, I, I guess. You can't have it all every single time. <laughs> Holy shit. Literally, as, literally as we were talking, right. <laughs> Jesus Christ, literally, literally as we talk, we're talking, it just cleaned it up. Whoa. Holy cow. Oh, well. <laughs> well, that's definitely, <laughs> I can't do anything to fix that one. Bloody Whoa! I don't know how fast that was. Oh, Jesus. Just literally cleaned her up. Fuck your poor thing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh poor Trista. <laughs> like subscribe share hit that notification button to all and i will see you in the next video when we discuss this situation